Question 1. What is the legal minimum tread depth for tires in Alberta? A. 1. 6 mm. B. 3. 0 mm. C. 1. 2 mm. Answer. A. 1. 6 mm. The legal minimum tread depth for tires in Alberta is 1. 6 mm to ensure adequate grip on the road. Question 2. In Alberta, when are you required to use your headlights? A. Between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. B. Only when it is dark outside. C. Half an hour before sunset until half an hour after sunrise. Answer. C. Half an hour before sunset until half an hour after sunrise. This ensures your vehicle is visible during times when light conditions are low. Question 3. True or false. In Alberta, you can make a right turn on a red light after coming to a complete stop, unless otherwise posted. Answer. True. You can make a right turn on a red light after stopping, unless a sign indicates that it is not allowed. Question 4. What should you do if you start to skid on a slippery surface? A. Brake hard and turn the wheel in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. C. Accelerate and turn the wheel in the direction of the skid. Answer. B. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. This action helps regain control of the vehicle. Question 5. When approaching a school bus with its red lights flashing, you must A. Slow down and pass with caution. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing. C. Honk to alert the bus driver. Answer. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing. This rule is in place to protect children getting on and off the bus. Question 6. Fill in the blank. In Alberta, the speed limit in urban areas, unless otherwise posted, is blank. Cam slash A. 30. B. 50. C. 60. Answer. B. 50. The default speed limit in urban areas in Alberta is 50 km slash, unless signs indicate otherwise. Question 7. What is the minimum following distance you should maintain from the vehicle in front of you under normal driving conditions? A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 3 seconds. Answer. B. 2 seconds. A minimum of a 2 second following distance allows for a safe stopping distance under normal conditions. Question 8. When you see a pedestrian crossing at an unmarked crosswalk, you should. A. Honk to warn them of your presence. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Yield the right of way and let them cross. Answer. C. Yield the right of way and let them cross. Pedestrians have the right of way at unmarked crosswalks. Question 9. What should you do if an emergency vehicle with flashing lights and sirens is approaching from behind? A. Speed up to get out of the way. B. Move to the right and stop. C. Continue driving at the same speed. Answer. B. Move to the right and stop. This action provides a clear path for the emergency vehicle. Question 10. True or false? You are allowed to use handheld devices while driving in Alberta. Answer. False. It is illegal to use handheld devices while driving in Alberta. Question 11. When parking uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Away from the curb. B. Toward the curb. C. Straight ahead. Answer. A. Away from the curb. This prevents your car from rolling into traffic if the brakes fail. Question 12. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A. Passing is allowed. B. Lane changes are discouraged. C. It separates lanes moving in the same direction. Answer. C. It separates lanes moving in the same direction. A solid white line indicates that you should stay in your lane. Question 13. 
if two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle on the right. C. The vehicle that is bigger. Answer. B. The vehicle on the right. The right of way goes to the vehicle on the right in this situation. Question 14. What is the blood alcohol concentration, BAC, limit for fully licensed drivers in Alberta? A. 0. A percent. B. 0. 5 percent. C. 0. 0 percent. Answer. A. 0. A percent. The BAC limit for fully licensed drivers in Alberta is 0. 8 percent. Question 15. When driving in heavy fog, you should use A. High beam headlights B. Low beam headlights C. Hazard lights Answer B. Low beam headlights Low beams provide better visibility in fog without reflecting light back into your eyes. Question 16. Fill in the blank. When a traffic light is out of order, the intersection should be treated as underscore underscore way stop. A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. Answer. C. 4. A non-functioning traffic light means the intersection should be treated as a four-way stop. Question 17. True or false? You are allowed to exceed the speed limit when passing another vehicle. Answer. False. You must not exceed the speed limit while passing... Question 18. In Alberta, if you are caught driving with a BAC over 0, 8%, what is one of the consequences you may face? A. A warning. B. Vehicle impoundment. C. A free driving course. Answer. B. Vehicle impoundment. Driving with a BAC over 0, 8% can lead to severe consequences, including vehicle impoundment, Question 19. What does a flashing yellow traffic light mean? A. Stop and proceed when safe. B. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light indicates to be alert and cautious while crossing the intersection. Question 20. True or false? In Alberta, you are required to signal even if no other vehicles are present. Answer. True. You are required to signal your intentions even when no other vehicles are around. Question 21. What should you do when you see a yield sign? A. Stop completely and then proceed. B. Maintain your speed and continue driving. C. Slow down and give way to traffic and pedestrians. Answer. C. Slow down and give way to traffic and pedestrians. A yield sign requires you to let others go first if necessary. Question 22. If you are driving and start to feel tired, you should. A. Open the window for fresh air. B. Pull over and take a break. C. Turn up the music to stay awake. Answer. B. Pull over and take a break. Driving while fatigued is dangerous, so it's best to rest if you're feeling tired. Question 23. Fill in the blank. The maximum speed limit on most rural highways in Alberta is underscore underscore chem slash, unless otherwise posted. A. 80. B. 100. C. 110. Answer. B. 100. The default speed limit on most rural highways in Alberta is 100 kilometers slash, unless signs indicate otherwise. Question 24. True or false? It is legal to make a U-turn at an intersection with traffic lights in Alberta. Answer. False. U-turns at intersections with traffic lights are generally not allowed in Alberta. Question 25. When driving, you should check your mirrors. A. Every 5 to 10 seconds. B. Only when changing lanes. C. Every time you see a vehicle behind you. Answer. A. 
every five to 10 seconds. Regular mirror checks help maintain situational awareness. Question 26, when you are following a motorcycle, you should. A, follow closer because motorcycles can stop more quickly. B, keep a greater following distance. C, flash your headlights to let them know you're there. Answer, B, keep a greater following distance. Motorcycles can stop more abruptly, so a greater following distance is safer. Question 27, what should you do if you encounter wildlife on the road while driving? A, speed up to scare them away. B, honk continuously. C, slow down or stop until the animal moves away. Answer, C, slow down or stop until the animal moves away. This prevents accidents and protects the wildlife. Question 28, true or false. In Alberta, the left lane on a highway is typically used for passing other vehicles. Answer, true. The left lane is usually for passing on highways, while the right lane is for regular travel. Question 29. When are you required to stop for a school bus with its stop arm extended and red lights flashing? A. Only when you are behind the bus. B. When you are on a road with a median. C. Whether you are behind or approaching the bus. Answer. C. Whether you are behind or approaching the bus. This rule is for the safety of children getting on and off the bus. Question 30. Fill in the blank. At underscore underscore way stop, the first vehicle to stop should be the first to proceed. A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. Answer. C. 4. At a four-way stop, the vehicle that stops first should move first, following the right-of-way rules. Question 31. True or false? You can park your vehicle on the sidewalk as long as it is not blocking pedestrian traffic. Answer. False. Parking on the sidewalk is not allowed as it can impede pedestrian movement. Question 32. What does a green arrow showing at the same time as a red traffic light mean? A. You must stop and wait for the green light. B. You can proceed in the direction of the arrow after yielding to traffic and pedestrians. C. You can turn in any direction. Answer. B. You can proceed in the direction of the arrow after yielding to traffic and pedestrians. The green arrow indicates permission to go in the arrow's direction. Question 33. What is the safe following distance in poor weather conditions, such as rain or snow? A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 4 seconds. Answer. C. 4 seconds. Poor weather conditions require a longer following distance for safety. Question 34. True or false? You should always drive at the speed limit, even in poor weather conditions. Answer. False. You should adjust your speed according to road and weather conditions for safety. Question 35. When can you legally cross a solid yellow line on your side of the road? A. To pass another vehicle. B. To turn into a driveway or road. C. You cannot legally cross it. Answer. B. To turn into a driveway or road. A solid yellow line should not be crossed for passing but can be for turning. Question 36. If a traffic signal is showing both a red light and a green arrow, what does this mean? A. You must stop in all cases. B. You may proceed in the direction of the arrow with caution. C. The light is out of order. Answer. B. You may proceed in the direction of the arrow with caution. The green arrow allows movement in its direction while the red light controls the other lanes. Question 37. When parking on a hill with no curb, which way should you turn your wheels? A. Towards the road. B. Away from the road. C. Keep them straight. Answer. B. Away from the road. Turning the wheels away from the road prevents the car from rolling into traffic. Question 38. True or false? You should not enter an intersection if you cannot clear it before the light turns red. 
Answer, true. You should not block intersections, so only enter if you can fully pass through. Question 39, fill in the blank. A flashing red traffic light should be treated as underscore underscore. A, yield sign. B, stop sign. C, warning light. Answer, B, stop sign. A flashing red light means you must come to a complete stop and proceed when safe. Question 40. When two vehicles reach an intersection with no signs or signals at the same time, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle going straight. C. The vehicle on the right. Answer. C. The vehicle on the right. The right of way is given to the vehicle on the right in this situation. Question 41. What is the recommended distance for signaling before making a turn? A. 10 meters. B. 30 meters. C. 50 meters. Answer. B. 30 meters. Signaling 30 meters before turning gives other drivers sufficient warning of your intentions. Question 42. True or false. You can make a left turn on a red light from a one-way street onto another one-way street. Answer, true. In Alberta, you can make this maneuver after stopping and ensuring it's safe. Question 43. When a pedestrian is crossing the street at a crosswalk, you should A. Stop and let the pedestrian cross. B. Honk to encourage them to cross quickly. C. Drive around the pedestrian. Answer, A. Stop and let the pedestrian cross. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks. Question 44. In Alberta, what is the minimum safe following distance when driving behind a motorcycle? A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 3 seconds. Answer. C. 3 seconds. A greater following distance is recommended for motorcycles due to their ability to stop more quickly. Question 45. If you are approaching an intersection and see a pedestrian using a white cane, you should A. Continue driving at the same speed B. Stop and let the pedestrian cross C. Honk to alert the pedestrian of your presence Answer B. Stop and let the pedestrian cross a white cane indicates the pedestrian may be blind or partially sighted, requiring extra caution. Question 46. Fill in the blank. When driving around a curve, your vehicle's tendency will be to go underscore underscore. A. Faster. B. Straight. C. Slower. Answer. B. Straight. This is due to inertia which resists changes in direction. Question 47, true or false? It is legal to pass another vehicle at a railway crossing. Answer, false. It's illegal and unsafe to pass another vehicle at a railway crossing. Question 48, when a school bus has its overhead red lights flashing, you must A, slow down and pass carefully. B, stop at least 20 meters away. C. Honk to alert the driver. Answer. B. Stop at least 20 meters away. This is to ensure the safety of children boarding or exiting the bus. Question 49. In Alberta, what is the legal blood alcohol concentration, BAC? Limit for fully licensed drivers. A. 0. 5%. B. 0. 8%. C. 0% zero, zero Answer B 0.8% However, there are stricter limits and consequences for new drivers and commercial drivers Question 50 When merging onto a highway, you should A. Stop before merging B. Use the acceleration lane to match the speed of highway traffic C. Merge immediately without adjusting your speed Answer, B. Use the acceleration lane to match the speed of highway traffic. This ensures a smoother and safer merge.